so the Cavs, Mavs, Lakers, Bucks, Pelicans, Raptors have all talked about uh, Boyan Bogdanovich um, and acquiring him from the Pistons. Sam, the, the Cavs don't have enough to get him, do they? That's what the Pistons are telling everybody, <laughs> but, you, you know, I don't know. I, I think that they're playing, trying to play hardball to, to try to up the offer. I will say this. They do. I know the Pistons like Karis Levert, and I know, you know, I've heard that, well, they may pursue him in free agency after the season, which I can't imagine doing. Uh, if you're Detroit, you're not going to be a great free agent destination, and I don't know what they would be able to pay him. So, I, I, look, Levert for Bogdanovich matches salary wise. You could just swap the two of them. You know, now the Pistons are saying we want a lot more. We want a first round pick for him uh, for Bogdanovich. I just, I don't think I I think they're just driving up the price and are realistically. When it comes to the trade deadline, they're going to realize that nobody wants to give them a first-round pick. So uh, I, I think it's not outside the realm of a possibility that the Cavs could land him, land Bogdanovich. Right now it doesn't look real promising because the Pistons are driving up the price. But again, everybody's, you know, February 8th and 9th, when that trade deadline bell is ready to, you know, ring, teams will, teams will back down from their price. So obviously – a very nice player, a veteran player, a wing, a perimeter shooter. I think it's a long shot, yes, but it's not impossible for the Cavs to land Bogdanovich. 